I'm Dr. Dave Armstrong. I'm a low vision optometrist in Virginia. If you or your child have been diagnosed with Stargardt disease, you're probably wondering, what is that? Stargardt disease, also known as Stargardt's disease or juvenile macular degeneration, is an inherited eye disease that affects the central vision. The part of the eye that's damaged is called the macula. That's the part of the retina that is responsible for the sharpest vision. Damage to the macula causes difficulty with reading, writing, recognizing faces, using a computer, driving, and other activities that require seeing fine detail. The vision loss from Stargardt may reach 2200 or less. Stargardt does not cause total blindness and it does not affect the peripheral vision. Stargardt disease usually begins by age 20, sometimes before the age of 10. Experts say that it occurs in one person out of eight to 10,000 people. Early signs are gray hazy spots in the center of vision and difficulty for the eyes to adjust when going from light to dark areas. Eventually, there may be a loss of color vision. Because the disease occurs in young people, it can make schoolwork difficult. Eventually, the person may not qualify to drive, making it difficult to keep a job. There's currently no treatment for Stargardt disease. However, there are several things that people with Stargardt should do in hopes of slowing the uh, progress of the vision loss. People with Stargardt disease should protect their eyes from sunlight by wearing good sunglasses and a hat with a brim. Smoking and exposure to secondhand smoke should be avoided. Vitamin A taken in excess may also be a factor in the progress of Stargardt disease. There's no need to worry about the amount of vitamin A in food, but supplements containing more than the recommended daily amount of vitamin A should only be taken with the advice of your doctor. There are ways of helping people with Stargardt disease see better so they can maintain a normal active life. Many states license people with Stargardt disease to drive while wearing bioptic telescopic glasses. In next week's low vision video, I'll discuss some of the many types of low vision glasses and other devices that are helpful to people with Stargardt disease.